for another Gifts of the Caucasus episode. And while I was finishing up the chaff and just really fast forwarding time down by the by the DGM, I found that we got a contract. So the contract is for 310,000 uh, sunflowers. At this point, we only have 136,000. So I am going to take what sunflowers I have and bring them down to the elevator. And so there's kind of a change of plans. We, if we look at the map, you know, nothing's grown yet. It's just been a little while. I was fast forwarding time, so like I said, it's it's kind of going. I just have to wait until these fields all are ripe and then plant them in sunflowers, but. We have 60 hours, so I'm betting that I'm going to have enough time. I think the crops grow in, what, like, less than 30 hours. So I should be able to have all of these become ripe, harvest them, as long as I'm pretty quick about it, get them planted. And then again, like I said, it's I already have pretty close to half of what I need. So I'm almost betting that the first two fields would do it, but I'm just going to kind of hedge my bet and we're going to go into sunflower production. Sunflower seed production, I should say. So we're going to run these down to the elevator real quick. This field still has a grow. And then I'll probably fast forward time a little bit and see. And I'll just sort of be all ready for that harvest right there. Probably should bring around the uh, Chrome Big X because this will have windrow on it, and I and I want the windrow. So, but I'm going to do everything I can to get that replanted pretty quickly. This field I'm not as worried about, but certainly when it comes to the next fields, just try to get them in there. I forget exactly how much I got off of this field. I think I did plant them all in sunflowers. Something like 80,000 seems to be right now. Could be wrong. So yeah, this field, I think it's just one growth stage behind field 19 up here. It's one growth stage behind lag, sliding going on. And that's corn, so... We'll see. Like I said, I think I can make it. I guess that's a bet. And I think you get like three status points for a contract. So, you know, and again, it's one of the things I like about this map is it kind of gives you gives you some goals like this. And it's not like we won't be making money, so. I'm going to buy it for 518000 I really I don't know what the normal price would be. That's right. The other one. Yep, it's green. I don't know what you do if both of them are red. Alright, so at least we'll have, you know, a good chunk of the contract done and then. Like I said, my bet is that we'll need two fields worth, and it won't be bad to do all of them. Hedge my bet, and then resupply on the on the sunflower seeds. Won't be a bad thing. So that's about it. I kind of just brought you back to to show you that I got this big contract and really not changing my plans overly much. I hadn't really thought too much about what I was going to plant next anyway, so it's not like I certainly wouldn't have planted all the sunflowers, but that's not the end of the world if I did. Alright, so I guess when I'm uh, harvesting or, or something else happens, I'll bring you guys back and Get another load down here, and then, like I said, pretty much was just going to fast forward time a bit at that point. I'm 
those silage bunkers are ready. So we have to check that guy out real quick. Ready to get that together. Yeah, he's he's there, isn't he? So we don't need to drive back and forth anymore. Let's get this guy fermenting. Oop. It's pretty steep. And I'll just park him here. So yeah, I was just really going to fast forward until, until this guy here was ready to go, or the crops grew, so. Alright, well there we go. Well, I'll bring you back when, you know, in a little bit. Thanks. Guys, I'm back for a quick minute. And... I got enough money, I thought about this before, in all my excitement of sunflowers. I forgot to mention this to you, but I am going to sell this little big X 500 and we get 94,000 for him so rather than I don't think I'm gonna have a whole lot of money to pay back much of the loan tonight but I am going to try out this guy he's only 292,000 which not sure why the guy who made the mod or mod hoster it looks like maybe one of their mods why they only made it that much but eh, I'll take advantage of it um, spend a lot of time that guy keeps getting stuck and I'm for an extra you know 200,000 I guess it might be worth seeing if this guy doesn't get stuck so much and with the big sunflower push going on So let me hit control. Oh, I gotta be in a vehicle to do it. Control E. Let's control E. And let's jump around so we get to the last one. And we will put this guy where the other guy was, which is in six. Control E again. Cab. And there you go. Chrome Big X 1100. Modified version for mod hosting. So, and this is the oh, turn. So this is the mod. Or this is the version of the Big X. Geez, this thing turns. Uh, Big X eleven hundred that came with this trailer. So you would assume. I don't know what happens when you assume too much, but you assume that these two should work flawlessly together. So, when it comes to doing these fields while I'm in the middle of doing a harvest or something, I'm going to be able to. to be able to not have this guy stop all the time. And it's just annoying me in general. So even if we didn't have some fire harvest, as I said, I probably, probably would have done something like this. So we would drag this guy up to the field so that as soon as I get windrow going, I'll be chasing and windrowing and just be a busy cowboy. This thing will probably fill up. I may use another tractor. We'll kind of see. Fortunately, this field's close to the... This field's going to be close to the farm, so I can just chase things and drop them there. I may just put a placeable heap here. And unfortunately, for the purposes of recording, a lot of that will happen at night. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything you know, other than rush, 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 that's going to be different about this than any other field that I've done. So if you look, well, we haven't hit the next hour yet, so. Yeah, I'm really just ready to fast forward time, I think. I may, I'm not sure what else I would need. You know, this guy's full of fuel. What is our harvester doing? We got there a lot quicker. Yeah, everybody's got fuel. Uh, I'm ready to pick up the windrow. At this point, I only have this wagon ready, but I have 
this guy right here who is ready to go might even put the sides up on him but he, he could probably get the chaff from the field let's see what happens see if that if I think that other guy can keep up or whatever so we'll see okay well that's what I'm gonna do so again this time I doubt I'll be back until probably next morning we'll still have plenty of time I'm, I'm, I know the contract won't be done so but I thought I'd show you the buying of my newer big X there all right well see you in a bit Hey guys, I am back, and I'm just sort of sitting here forwarding while I run the money up, empty out some of the silos. And if we take a look at the fields here, so we've got three silos now that all need to be unloaded. And if we look at the fields, they're all taken care of which is nice. If we go to the type, we've got our sunflowers planted in this field and 19, which is obviously corn, will should be ready to harvest with the next go around and then these two shortly after that. So hopefully we'll have enough for our contract, which I wanted to show you. Um, you know, last night is when I recorded that last segment bed and woke up in the morning just to kind of grind ahead and the timer stopped so I'm not sure what's going on with that I guess I can go back and look and see you know how many time how much time has been forwarded in the game and see if I would have made it but I'm not sure if it's broke and the contract will expire and the timers broke I mean you know but the contract's still counting off somewhere in the depths of my computer. Uh, in any event, oops, I ran out of chaff. So see, when I run out of chaff here, chaff here, I will then slow down time again. So I put it back down to one, if you can see up the top there. And then just let him run back and forth. He kind of catches up and fills it up pretty quick. If we jump over to this truck, and then out of this truck, I want to show you this. I've got 1,150,000. So I've got enough chaff here to build up two more silos. So I have this tractor ready to go. And as a matter of fact, I need to go get that other tractor down here just to push the cart closer. But I already did this once. I emptied this out, and that's what filled up the silo number two. So, you know. And that's what I realized before, is that I was waiting on silos to be empty, especially once I got the harvesting of that chaff going. Now on the negative side, since I'm going to plant all sunflowers, I'm not going to get any chaff. But hey, we'll get our sunflower on, huh? And I'm pretty sure all the fields will be ready before that contract would have expired. And I will be pretty disappointed if the whole contract thing is broke, if... You know, to me it seems like, you know, a pretty good feature of the map. It's certainly, if you heard me praising it, you know, it's what, what I like about this map is it gives you some kind of goals at the end of the day. We could probably, while we're watching the sun come up, take a look at how our grain mill is doing. And, yeah, we could run some more stuff over there. Uh, the little change of plans, you know, I'll harvest the wheat probably before I bring that over there, which should happen today, I'm, you know, later on today. And, and the grain mill, if you hover over the name there, you can see the times, day long. Day cost per hour, night cost per hour. That's kind of interesting. So I guess you take on that stuff when if you actually buy the place. Yeah, after 155 hours, no cheating money, just you know grinding on hard mode <laughs> really not in good shape we could take a look at the fine I mean I know the farm is doing a lot better but I'm you know and, and in that respect I'm slightly closer to buying anything but I got a hundred and eighty eighty thousand dollars I'm not sure 
what the most I ever had was a million or something and cut through that like hot knife through butter. Um, you know, we really, you know, we've made a good amount of money today. Our money dropped off yesterday, but that's really, you know, closer to our average six to 800. I think I probably sold some wood chips or just the bunkers came just at the right times. So, yeah, so there we go. Mission income. We did complete a few missions. Let's go. I don't need to borrow any more money. Come into here and look. I've got six missions completed, and that's with a couple missed ones. So I think I had two missed ones. So that's like six out of eight. But those numbers are adding up. And then I have this, con I guess the contract's still working for, this, for the sunflower. So hopefully we'll get that. will be three more points. So I'll be in good position, I think, as far as rating goes when it comes to you know getting this the threshed area I'm not sure what they mean by threshed area because you know that threshing is what you do to grass in order to get it to be nice and even on the field so it dries you know nice and evenly so when you bale it it's you know makes good hay or feed field grass bales you know so anyway I guess they're something to do with you know, the harvest is what they're considering threshed, but misuse of words, which isn't overly surprising. Yeah, and I guess my most points are coming from 162 hours. I think I said 155. Well, chalk up seven more for a grand total of 47 points. There you go. So other than that little update, <laughs> there's not a whole lot to report on. You know, I don't think that my... My field will be, once he stops, you know, speed it back up to five and take a quick look at the fields. It seems like it's the top of the hour, but I don't think that's necessarily true. I, it's not like I'm doing anything else at that moment. So, yeah, as far as our animals go, they could probably use some stuff, but there's nothing urgent. You know, I'm starting to feel like I could buy that mixed ration thing. I know I could buy the cheaper one, just placeable one that I have for like thirty thousand or something. I'll stick with the stick with the theme. You know, why go this far if you're just gonna start cheating? And that's I get cheating whatever it's your game. It's not like you're making money cheating somebody. Well maybe you are. I'll give you an idea. And as far as I haven't really looked through this one too much. The beef and the pigs, chickens. Yeah, I ran some weed up there. If you notice, I went and got the eggs. It annoys me slightly that that turns red after 60. Not enough to do much about it, but I did run up there when I was bored. Hit the eggs. So I've got a bunch in the backpack now. They're doing fine. And the sheep, you know, again, they're going to need some grass and water soon, but I think they're okay. We can see on this one, can't we see the... Yeah, there's pigs. Beefs, that next one over. We just have the regular animals. Chickens, yeah, we can see the percentage. So 33%, 29%. You know, I'll have to get up to them sometime soon. Yeah, I guess we we'll probably still have a day or so before we have to do that. And maybe by then we'll have the money for getting some silage going. So, yeah, well there you go. There's a bit of a map update. Not a whole lot else going on. Just watching this guy go back and forth. Oh, I did want to say, I watched a video by R.D. Allen, and he's probably closer than Scooter Rio, but... Um, I remember from school that the word is Caucasus, in particular the Caucasus Mountains, um, or the Caucasus Mountains, and it's a region uh, where that in includes Georgia, Azerbaijan, and what's the other one? I just, I just read it. And Armenia. So, which is near the Black Sea and like borders Russia. You probably heard of Georgia and Russia. Georgia was a state of Russia. And in any event, the um, you know the word is Caucasus. It is related to the word Caucasian. 
you know, it's back in the eight, you know, 1800s or whatever it was. You know, they thought that that's where pe- people came from, and that's where the white people came from, and that's where we get the word Caucasian. And it's, you know, Caucasus is pretty similar to the word Caucasian in the same origin. I'm sure there's different pronunciation differences from different countries. Like the one girl I heard on Google, I just wanted to confirm before I came on YouTube and, you know, misspoke. She was saying Caucasus, Caucasus. And to me, that just sounds like, you know, the, a Boston pronunciation or, or New England type pronunciation. So I'm sure other people might say it different. But you know, really, if however you say Caucasian is pretty close to how you probably end up should say Caucasus. Well, I'm going to cut it here for a bit, and when something exciting happens, I'll come back. <laughs> At this point, I'll go off to watching a YouTube video while I watch my tractor do his thing, and and uh, think of the next exciting thing to do on the map. All right, see you guys in this bit. Back once again. It's not too much later than the last time. In real life, I've been fast-forwarding. You can say I've almost, uh, well, not in, I wish I, well, I don't want to fast forward too much of my life, but I've been fast forwarded the game. And I wanted to set up a course play at a new, like, slurry location. Because when I get done this field number nine, well, let's go to this map, I think. So what I thought of was putting one right somewhere in this area. And I actually went and bought it ahead of time, just save some running around. But I thought I would course play this course with you guys. And from over here at the BGM over to here. And I'll probably end up putting another one somewhere here. I thought of putting it here, and I said, well, you know what? Eventually I'll probably own these fields, and, you know, we could slurry whatever, and then we'll have another slurry set up in between 17 and 18 there. So there we go. So this tanker's full basically ready to go so I'm going to start course recording and run over there in a civilized manner oh quick cargo delivery yes we will do it wheat to the railroad station I thought that's the one I just did but okay give her to me and let's this is why we keep tractor clean ready to go learned our lesson a long time ago now Some wheat. Weaver has finished work. Alright, you know what? We're going to even put the question mark up. We want 21,000, so. Oh, I don't have the right setup. Let's bring it down to this one. Should be good. If you don't come off that trigger, it's something about the tractor reaching the trigger, I think, tells it which type of tipper. Uh, wheat, and we're just going to cut it right off. See, so it's good we didn't sell any extra wheat. Because I think that was the last contract I had was for wheat. 21,000, close enough. I'm going to do this. How much time? About four minutes. I have plenty of time. So let's go down to the lever. Stop the driver. Backwards. Hard for me to uh, reverse and what is that course? Grass operations. Silo one. Have at it. There you go. So now. Where was I? Three. Okay. So that took us 30 seconds. Still think we'll make it in plenty of time. Yeah, so the money's not bad for me, certainly compared to what we normally sell the stuff at. And on top of that... Oh look, it started my timer back up. Did you see that? See, that's called event programming, by the way. 
So in other words, the event that they have the Sunflower contract tied to is, you know, an event that they've probably got when, when the delivery happens. So that it restarted the timer. Which to me means that when that timer wasn't running, you get more time. So all you have to do is log out, log back in. If that timer doesn't start back up for you, then you're in good shape. Now again, it, I, to me, I was ready to take on the challenge. Uh, and I still will. I'll just, but it doesn't seem like nearly as much of a challenge now. Got a extra shoot. We probably got, I guess, close to an extra six hours at least, maybe eight. Most of the time I spent, you know, before this just kicked off, was not at five times speed. I just got all the chaff and was harvesting and a bunch of other stuff after I left you in the beginning of this episode. Alright, so we'll have another point. Seven contracts, or seven quick deliveries. 9,100, I'll take it. And this guy back up there. Ready to go for the next one. All of those fences should open up like that gate just did. Where, you know, you, you don't have to worry about going pretty close to full speed at it. What are we harvesting next? Oats. We're going to have, I think if we get these oats harvested, I'm going to I planted around the trees as much as an experiment. I'll show you in a minute here. Well, we're going to get back to our course plan, but this kind of guy back to the wall is a bit of a disruption in what I planned on doing. I'm more than capable of going with the most exciting thing at the moment. this. Excuse me. Sorry about that. So, yep, we got seven points, 48, so we're pushing 50. If we get this contract done, we'll be, we'll be there. So let's get out of this guy. Yep, go back to this guy. I guess we're going to have to start over. I should have probably hit the pause. No, no, you know, he's still... Eh, he'll stop there. Let's just... We're, we're so close. If I was in the middle of it, I might have paused. But and the problem with putting a pause in is they just come to a complete stop. So, so that guy is unloading, right? Yep, very good. Now right, i got to get that... Well, we got a lot to do all of a sudden. I, mean, I was really just sitting there bored watching videos. I'm going to put this on just so I know that I'm close. Yeah, see, I don't understand why that fill level thing pops on and off like that. I'm anyway, pretty happy with this position right here. Let me jump over to this guy and I'll show you what we do here. Back up and spin around so we can see. Going all the way already. And we went a bit too far. Yeah, much better. So, yeah, this is, uh, you know, we'll fill this guy up real quick. Probably even just put this little tractor with the since the lever is busy doing the off the off selling of the silage. We'll get the little Deutz far there doing his thing. We'll have him compact it for a while. 
yeah, this is it. So let me, you know, real quick uh, pause, since this will take a while. It's going to be a, you know, at nine trips or something like that, just around in a circle. And I can show you the first one here, and then we'll cut. But, and then we'll come back to course play that silage. Yeah, so this is, uh, like I was saying at one point in a different video, you know, whenever you have a process that, you know, isn't fast enough and it's not consistent, like I don't get grass off of the fields as consistently as I can sell it. So once I got more grass coming in, I was wasting a lot of time because I was just unable to harvest the grass. And by putting that putting that pile there it lets me keep harvesting the grass whenever I want and yet keep filling these up as soon as they need it there we go what percent so I think each one of these is 12 percent that's how I'm like the master master of silage on this mat I mean, if it, but if it wasn't for doing all this silage, I mean, what money would I have, you know? You know, still be using that old, old harvester, which is a fine mod, don't get me wrong. On the right map and the right conditions, I think that would be, you know, I think it just is cool the way they did that. It's, you know, not the most efficient thing in the world, but... I, I certainly have appreci an appreciation for older machines in general. You know, I just think some of the ingenuity and just with some things like a locomotive or, you know, it's just so cool to see the, the parts exposed. You know, all the, not all the machines, but a lot of the machines you see nowadays, they got covers on them. You don't really see them functioning. Even, you know, our today's engines are completely internal. Well, that's what you're really seeing with a locomotive is... You know, it's a steam engine, but you're seeing all the bits and pieces. Not all of them, but a lot of them on the outside of the machine. And that's just really cool to look at. But yeah, whoever did that mod, you know, just really did a nice job with it. So, all right, well, let me cut it here, and I will fill up this bunker and get this guy compact in it. And then I'll come back when I'm ready to do the course play thing again. So guys since I decided to bring that other tractor down I'm going to bring this guy back up to the farm and wash him off real quick and while I was recording this video Ronnie Van asked some questions about where to buy hops I thought it would be reasonably quick and easy just to I haven't really done everything with that garden center yet let's just leave this guy here I can wash him later Oops, that. let's get it out and we'll jump over to the UAZ which I brought up here stop the driver so yeah this is all the stuff by the way right ahead of me is like obviously this is where you buy your seeds but like right along here right where that right just to the right of the tractor when you buy saplings that's where they show up I know that much you have to buy the saplings all the way around here which is a bit of a pain running back and forth but but here's the hops right across the street so this is all part of the hops thing so if you want to buy hops you get them from right here and I'm not sure about everything like I said but I did sell some slurry we don't have a question mark here, but see, I think this is where you get, like, the cows or something. Like, they have cows and pigs. So, again, I'm not 100% sure, but see, there, right over there is a place to sell something else. This, I would imagine, looks like where you might sell straw. Here. It's a, oops, stop trying to do it. Um, shops, garden center. So, you know, if I had to guess, slurry is right ahead over there as far as they're selling or buying. I guess this might be manure piles, or that's just might be decoration. It's 
probably decoration, but it certainly doesn't look like there's anything like manure over there. Let's get rid of that. But this is definitely where you sell the slurry. You might be able to sell the manure there. You know, we'll check it out eventually when we start expanding into that stuff. But yeah, there's hops. And I would bet you brand goes in here, if not oil cake too. I don't really know what oil cake looks like, but my bet would be you might be able to drop both of those in there. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, is the garden center open yet? I'll grow the name six. Yeah. So do we need anything while we're up here? I'll just probably leave UAZ here as it is. Just Yeah, I could probably use some seeds. At least it wouldn't hurt. And I'm not quite sure what happened, but Stop just buying seeds. I doubt it. I'll probably go back and look at a video. Like if I hit come here and hit drive course. You know, stop at last waypoint deactivated. So it means he should just go along. Oh there he goes. Now he's buying. Or is he? Look, it's like he's broken. Oh, I wonder if. Turn this down a little bit. This comes default at three, right? Let's turn this. Let's stop. Let's just do a little experiment. It's a little slow to get started. So let's do drive course. And he's up to six. There you go. Look at that. I when I somehow along the line I messed with the speed of him. So there you go. If you were having problems with that guy uh, loading, it was just he was stopping probably on a non-point. Oh, cool. That was an unexpected fix. All right, wrong one. So this guy is still sitting up here. There we go. We got this guy. So we really didn't need to run that other tractor up there, but what the heck. In case we get a big uh, sale, I guess. How are we doing on? Oh, we're full again. So yeah, we're making a lot of slurry here. So if nothing else, we'll get these slurry tanks. And, ah, I didn't record the course, did I? Yeah, let's uh, forget about that dirt moment. Need to get some editing software one day. You know that? Right now, just whatever you guys see is. Live and uncut. Other than I've made some some videos and deleted the whole thing, so I guess that does kind of count as cut, doesn't it? All right. Well, I think this would be a good place to start. Why not? So I'm wondering if the reason this guy isn't filling is because I'm not starting at the right place. Interesting question. All right, so finally we're back on the road for this. We'll try to do this at full speed, and then when we get to the end of field 19, we're going to turn right. I'd like to try to keep these guys completely out of the path of somebody in the field, but I'm not sure how easy that's going to be to do. I'll try to minimize it. I'm going to try to get this field planted as fast as possible. Unfortunately, this time I don't have to worry about the chaff. I'll have to worry about it in the next two fields. It went pretty well last time. There's some hills up here I'm going to stay off of. that road the first time. It's better to kind of do this and just skirt these hills. There's our wagon right up ahead. I'm going to turn this on again so that speed out a little bit. Always slow down your course. Alright, so I'm going to put a P right here. I'm going to overload this. 
fastest process. But... Now when you put the P in here, it kind of jumps ahead, so I'm hoping I can I'm hoping I can get him turned now that I look at it before I run in that field. And when you're actually course playing, they don't do the crop destruction. Either on this map or when you have crop destruction turned on through drive control. There was another crop destruction that I had at one point, but I was playing the I was playing the soil mod and just I don't know, something was conflicting. I forget exactly what. Almost done. See how there's well, there's a gap always, but you'll see what I mean. I, I think we'll be fine. And hopefully, we won't ever need two trucks doing it because I'll collide through here. I'd rather stay off the field. Alright, so UAZ is ready on the the seeds. It's early in the morning, we can always go back more. Not sure when those other fields will be right, but these are bang bang, like two right next to each other. Would have been better if I did I deliberately spread them out so that they wouldn't be you know, on the same wouldn't be on the same cycle as the field 19. If you look over the hill there, see how I planted? I just was curious as much as anything. Can I plant where the trees are? Like, can you cultivate? So, you know, it usually takes a couple days for the trees to hit the first growth stage there. And I am kind of getting close to that. And I'd really rather not have the crops sitting in between. stay out of this guy's way as much as possible. Still will come in here fairly straight. Let's stop the course there. Let's save it as slurry to 19, 20, 21. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if we say drive course. Stop driver. I'm pretty sure I can try this. Let's let's just do this and see if that actually works. If he fills up. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's not filling up. I'm sure. I know I've used Menor Transporter, but I kind of forget why and when. It's been a while. Like I said, I've been playing the Soil mod now for so many... It's like the first map I've done that doesn't have it in a long time. any issues with his course. And let's take a real quick look at this. Nothing's grown in this hour. So yeah. UAZ. So we'll run them up there for some more seeds. I don't mind having more seeds. And fertilizer I'm not going to worry about too much because we're going to try to start using more slurry. So it means we won't use nearly as much fertilizer. I did just fertilize field 10, 11, 12 just because it was easier to do than 
you know, and quicker, just get it done. It was the middle of the night. I didn't feel like running all the way down from there. Alright, well, I think I'm going to probably call this an episode. It's probably been long enough with our, you know, I was just planning on a little short segment to record that course to get to this guy. Looking like it right along and doing fine. Let's make sure he comes up here and harvest them. We'll call it an episode and come back at some point in the near future. Let's see what happens here. It's not overloading. There. Well, there he goes. Yeah, so that's... I'm not sure if it's an issue of this trailer. This trailer may not be put together as well as it looks. And that's not necessarily a criticism of the model. It's just... Things change to, to work with different... Every different situation, I'm sure, is difficult. But when you do call something universal... Nah, I'm kidding. Alright. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And take care of yourselves. And bye-bye.